It was the stuff of nightmares having your scalp torn from your skull for it to be displayed as a trophy of war. Thousands of settlers, soldiers, cowboys and Native Americans across the length and breadth of the American frontier fell victim to this most gruesome of fates. Scalping describes the forceful removal of the human scalp with hair attached. The violent act is usually performed with a knife, but the general process of scalping was quite uniform. They seize the head of the disabled or dead enemy, and placing one of their feet on the neck, twist their left hand in the hair. By this means, having extended the skin that covers the top of the head, they draw out their scalping knives, which are always kept in good order for this cruel purpose, and with a few dexterous strokes take off the part that is termed the scalp. They are so expeditious in doing this, that the whole time required scarcely exceeds a minute. Someone can scalp victims who are already dead, but there are also examples of people being scalped while they are still alive. The true origin of scalping is a topic of debate. While some believe that Native Americans introduced settlers to the practice, others argue that settlers introduced scalping to Native American tribes. Archaeological evidence shows that scalping dates back thousands of years and developed independently in various cultures in both the Old and New Worlds. One of the earliest examples was a man in Sweden who had been scalped 5,000 years ago. The ancient Greeks wrote of the nomadic Scythians collecting scalps of their enemies on the bridles of their horses, as did the Visigoths in what would become Germany. Scalping was also known in 10th century England, while in 1845 a mercenary in Africa observed 700 scalps displayed as trophies by Amazon warriors in what would become Benin. One of the worst scalping massacres of all time happened in 1325, more than 100 years before Columbus's voyage, at a Native American town called Crow Creek. The Crow Creek tribe had a massive town, with 55 lodges surrounded by a thick wall made of wood and buffalo hides. One night, while they were sleeping, an enemy tribe sneaked over their walls and massacred nearly every person there. Archaeologists found the remains of 486 people at the site of the massacre. Nearly every person in the town was scalped after they were killed, except for the young women, who were taken back as sex slaves for the men who'd killed their husbands. Colonies, territories and states in what is now the US, used scalp bounties widely from the 17th through the 19th centuries. Generally, William Kieft, the Director General of the Dutch Colony of New Netherland, future New York, has been credited with introducing the practice of paying bounties in 1641. Other colonies followed suit. The colonial government of Massachusetts offered £20 per scalp in 1689 in retribution, and this policy expanded throughout the period and was carried into the United States. Scalping seemed to end only when the Native American tribes of North America were firmly conquered by the United States at the end of the 19th century.